A woman's campaign for a kidney is gaining a lot of attention. Some of it, however, is unwanted. Local 12's Brad Underwood has the story. You've likely seen one of these signs. They're scattered all over the tri-state. A kidney for Ann. Ann Mills has polycystic kidney disease, or PKD. It's a genetic disorder that her grandmother also suffered from. But the thought from my doctor was, if my grandmother was 91, then chances are I would follow suit and I would be very old by the time it really affected my life. Unfortunately, that isn't the progression of my disease. Over the last few years, things have gotten worse. In October, Ann found out she needs a new kidney. On November 1st, it clicked. Recycling election signs, Anne launches her own campaign, one for a kidney. You know, realizing how much of a prideful person she is, uh, where this is one thing she can't do herself. She needs someone else, and I think that's the hardest part. Anne's two children, Andy and Alexis, see it every day. Just how tough this is for their mom. Our mom has done so much for us growing up, and she's been so selfless for us in giving, and the fact that we can't give that back to her. We can't give her our kidney because it is genetic. By herself, Ann has put together more than 120 of the smaller black and white signs, but thanks to the boys at St. Xavier High School, she now has six of these giant colorful signs. Those two will be going up around the city. But over the past few weeks, several of those signs have been removed. When I found them hanging out of the garbage, I felt like, well, my request is garbage. That's what people think of it because it's now in the garbage. So Anne made another sign. To those of you that have uh, removed my sign, I hope you never need a kidney. Signed, Anne. A kidney transplant before dialysis is ideal. And typically it's a seven year wait for a cadaver kidney. I'd like to have some good memories of spending some time with my children before things get really crazy because I'm not going to get better. I, the only way of getting better is really the transplant. And until that happens, the campaign continues. In the family, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And there is no cure for PKD. It's dialysis or a transplant. Some people have reached out to the hospital to see if they're a match, and you can too. You'll find the information you need at local12.com.